Okay. Right. Okay. So, um, war and judgment in my head and out in the world. So this is a very actually is is close to my heart. This question now, as I choose the pathway of clearing in myself and out of myself, um, and. Um, so lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles gives clear instruction that the illusions that take place, some of them are my personal illusions. They're just things that I believe in, which create my self-illusions. And yet some of them I, I also adopt are what is called collective illusions of the, of the collective ego, if you like. So there are things in humanity that egos collectively agree to believe in. And this becomes a collective nightmare of humanity. And then there are my personal set of personal beliefs. Of course, all the while, all the personal beliefs I've believed and all the collective beliefs that I've picked up from humanity, um, I need to clear for my own personal enlightenment because, you know, there will all be limitations to recognizing the, inf the infinite love within. So, okay, so war. So war in well, let's let's go war in war and judgment in myself first, and then we'll get to war and judgment outside as well. So um, so war and judgment in in well war and judgment in myself is limitation. Judgment is a form of limitation. It's a form of thought that something is not as it should be. Um, you know, like it should not be. Uh, there should not. There should not be. Um, uh, I should not have a blocked sinus and breathing problems. So that's now creating war in me. You know, my breathing. I should not be aware of of breathing problems. So that's a war, that, and that's a judgment. It's both a war and a judgment. You see, it's the same thing in a way. Judgment is the lack of the lack of infinite peace, really, that's present here. So then, um, as soon as there's identification with a judgment thought, or identification with a passing cloud, like a feeling, or a constriction, or or an uncomfortableness, or, or then um, uh, that's a, a form of war. I mean, war is like not wanting something to be the way it is. So then there's a disturbance. You see, if everything is 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 um, if everything is okay to be as it is right now, that there's no need to think about it, it shouldn't be differently, then there would be no thoughts. And there would be no need to change anything inside or out. Then there, the infinite peace would reveal itself, you see. So war is, I mean, war in the way it's historically said in say is, is very dramatic. So it's like an extreme disturbance within the self. Uh, and judgment is like something is wrong I, I judge that this is wrong. I, I judge that breathing problems is wrong. I judge that uh, an infection is wrong. I In fact, I judge that I shouldn't have a blocked nose right now. So that's a judgment. And then war, war I mean, war in myself. I mean, it's like, okay, um, you know, I have, a, I have a war in my head around, back, around a bank. I'm on video. Around a, <laughs> upon a bank. <laughs> debanking me so um i'm in a war i'm in in my head i'm in, at war with this bank you know how dare you uh, uh cut my bank account off so there's a war so that's war in myself and how do i get rid of war and judgment in myself well i can i can clear it through um uh, cancelling it or god did not create it it's not real or I can go to the observer, the witnesser of it. Is the witnesser at war? Can the wit is the witnesser suffering breathing problems? Uh, it, the, does the 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 witnesser is it outraged at his bank account being stopped? I mean, it, it doesn't really it doesn't affect the witnesser. So, is it, what is it affecting? Well, it's in fact it's affecting my ego. So the ego is constantly at war. That's the nature of the ego: war and judgment. So, and war and judgment within myself, you know, like uh, I'm angry in myself, at myself, for not have, having done enough spiritual work to clear my breathing problems, you know, so that's a war or a conflict. Uh, yeah, another word for war is conflict, isn't it, really? Um, so there's a conflict in myself, but 
there's anger at my my ego is angry at my sinuses and my breathing so that's a war so i had to clear that i mean whenever you let go of something through cancellations through god did not create it through going to the witness sir whenever you release it and let it be then it disappears you see when there's no juice when the ego has no juice no payoff out of a thing then you don't see it you see like let's say i was angry at let's choose some non-charged topics there are some charged topics in the world but let's say i was angry whenever it rains i'm angry at the the world and whenever it rains so every time it rains i'll be uh, angry at the weather i'll be angry in myself i'll judge the weather for being wrong this weather is wrong today but if i was to totally let go not, and release the weather to be what it is it's okay if it rains if it's sunny it's okay i mean i don't really there's i have no thought or judgment um it's up to the weather whatever it wants to do then what would happen is it would disappear from my registry in my consciousness it would no longer mean anything to me and so whether it, it wouldn't affect my internal state um of peace and love at all times you know infinite peace and love which is uninterrupted uh, the loss of that would not happen because i have to pick up a thought or a judgment or a war on the weather being different to the way my ego wants it to be but to that if i'm resting in that infinite peace and love which is always here and I'll, I'll speak at the i don't normally speak at this level but it's always here um if i don't pick up a judgment or a war with the weather or have a preference that it should be this way not this way then there's only peace you see it wouldn't even register it wouldn't be noticed um everyone knows this from their own experience in different ways there are some things that don't disturb you you don't even notice them um and yet for other people they would notice it like for example if i'm a sugar addict or a donut addict like if someone puts a cake in front of me i could get really like obsessed or have cravings or i'm not i don't i no longer have that because i've transcended that but i used to so i'd be at like war with why did this person put a cream cake in front of me when i'm trying to avoid cream cakes and yet the, the person next to me could say like how are you doing sabir and i'm you know i'm angry about cream cakes and they could say well i'm still you know i didn't notice there was a cream cake on the table and nothing happened for me i mean i didn't even notice it so you can see that people only have war in themselves or see war out there if it if it's if it's something the ego doesn't approve of you see otherwise there is no war so war really war and judgment is the absence of that connection to that inner peace now if everyone had of course if everyone was in a state of peace it would be impossible for war but i would say with gandhi i mean i like what gandhi said i mean you know it's like um don't change things out there change me so if you know the first thing i need to do is like let go of my the war in me that's the primary job as a spiritual student and the judgment in me rather than the the way i would those i help the what i'd say to them is try not to uh focus on changing the war out there first first let go of the war in you and uh you know so my thing as a, as a person often you know is the pathway i mean i love dr hugh len i i love talking about him because he's just an illustration of the power of people who do the work in themselves rather than try to interfere with what's going on out there so dr hugh len um in terms of war the war of the of the, all those people you know all those axe murderers and, and things in hawaii and, and the Hawaii prison i don't know what they were axe murderers rapists uh killers uh, uh thieves whatever they were so he just got he just got i think the files of them this person like likes to run over children and he forgave them he let go of the thoughts in him that would judge them and would be unforgiving towards them and would hold anything about them and he did that with all the prison inmates and then everyone in there got well and like and 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 went to, and the, they shut the prison down he didn't go there and tell them don't you know when you, when you're released don't do that again he just released it in himself so i i think that is one of the most powerful things you know is is unknown what doing spiritual work in yourself to reach that place of peace where you see no war out there and there's no war in there 
or to see a, a war in yourself and no longer see it, that will have an effect on people that you know. And to see a war out there and then to not see it because you do the inner work, you don't know how much that would help the situation. Now, what people usually want to do is not clean up the war in themselves and go and tell people out there not to do war. For me, that doesn't, that's the, the, that usually creates more problems because you haven't cleaned the war in yourself and you're trying to control other people when there's no peace in yourself. So for me, that's usually the worst way of do it actually creates more war you know when people are angry at another p group and then chanting for peace for me that creates more war because they haven't got peace in themselves you see you, you're going with war telling trying to control someone not to do war so if you had peace in yourself and forgave everything in yourself for me actually that would be um, more powerful like dr hugh len forget you know i mean see the war in the world but clear it in yourself, uh, which is the pathway of the mystic, you see. See the suffering of others, but clear it in yourself until you see that no longer. Um, actually, I, I mean, I, I wrote a book, uh, uh, Bulletproof Peace, and um, I shared the miracle of myself. I shared many miracles in there, but there was one of a lady that was really in a, in a spiritual group that was really, I had a, a lot of difficulty with. Uh, she was really angry at me. I was really angry at her. Uh, what was it what is it back and share the content i mean she was very much she couldn't stand the word god and i wouldn't just stop saying it so there was a there was a war between the two of us so um it just sounds hilarious anyway this carried on for weeks and months and um and then you know i i, I didn't try i didn't say anything to her i just forgave her i just let go of the anger and uh rage i had of the war we had with each other in, in the groups I didn't I didn't speak to her or talk to her and I prayed and one day it was quite miraculous I woke up and it was like 100% forgiveness there was only love and forgiveness in my heart um, and that day was very this is a true story I wrote it in my book that day I went to the group and I knew there would be no resentment no animosity towards her and and she came in and on that day she came up to me and said Sabir you've taught me a lot I didn't say anything to her but I just want you to let you know I'm now moving countries. And she moved out to another country on the day I forgave her. So you, you, see, you can see the mystical nature of relationships and just to forgive in myself rather than to try and control or tell the other person uh, what to do. So um, with that, um, yeah, and that, that that's my view of seeing war out there. I'd be more interested in clearing my perceptions of the war, like Dr. Hulen, rather than going out there and trying to tell the bad party not to do what to do what.